bike vlogger here. Topic of the day, topic of the day. Topic of the day. Jaywalking, what is jaywalking? Jaywalking is walking across the street when you're not in a crosswalk. And it's gonna be legal in the state of California next year. So in uh, about a month. Another thing that's also legal in California is uh, filtering through traffic. So when you're like going between uh, cars and tra different traffic lanes on a motorcycle or a bicycle, you can go between the cars. That's another thing unique to the state of California. Squeak. So yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. And that's about the end of the topic. So we're actually gonna go down to the river to pair and uh, do a little bit longer of a ride, I think, today. Before it gets a little too dark. I got a uh, shin splint or something going on with my, uh, with my right leg. So haven't been able to run on it very much. But we can ride a bike because it's low, lower impact. So I get a little bit of exercise in today since it's a uh, Saturday, Saturday. The end of November. That's right. So it'll probably be December when this video gets posted. Whew. not too cold yet but uh i'm starting to feel it they got the fingerless gloves again um. yeah so it did actually snow a little bit earlier uh by that i mean like a couple weeks ago because we had some abnormally cold uh, days there now it's a little bit more normal about 50 Fahrenheit so it actually feels pretty good I didn't really check the weather before I left though hopefully it doesn't rain it's just kind of got that winter vibe to it kind of cloudy and dark that's it Kai that's okay what goes down must come up we'll come back up this hill later in the video Yeah, like I said, I was going to River to Pair. I don't know if I'm going to go all the way to uh, Jefferson Memorial Park or whatever it's called. Down by the river. But we'll see. We shall see. Depends on when I start getting really cold or not. Because I'm not very well dressed for the cold. It's approximately 3... 30 p.m. right now, so it's gonna be uh, pretty much dark at 5. And I want to get back before then because I don't have really bright uh, bike lights right now. Just kind of my little bike lights. Because I don't know, I just forgot. You know, sometimes you forget. Sometimes you forget. Let's make it through this light here. Whew. Very good. So what I need to do is get down to the multi-use path. Should be to the left here. So we'll do that. Down to the multi-use path. Whew. Yeah, Black Friday was yesterday, so it is 
Black Saturday, I guess, right? The weekend. Surprising number of people out shopping. I did not expect that. Now the uh, things just keep getting more expensive, but uh, I guess people got monies. They're willing to pay, so yeah. At least around where I live. There's going to be a lot of people out in the stores this weekend. Could be just getting a lot of the getting into a lot of the sales because some of these places they artificially raise their prices uh you know in september and october and then they drop them down to something a little more reasonable come late november and then into the holidays i don't know if you can expect to get really good sales after the holidays though you used to be able to do that like uh I got one of those, you know, you know, one of those fake plastic Christmas trees. I don't know, it was like a really big old tree for like 40 bucks. This was years ago, but it was like off, you know, it was like a third of the price or something. It was really cheap. After Christmas, of course. I don't know if you can find those sort of sales after the holidays anymore, though. There's probably some good stuff going on around Black Friday. So yeah, we're on that multi-use trail I was talking about. I've been on here a few times before in the past. Easy. Nice and slow. So I want to try to take this to... Uh, see how far I can take this pretty much until I have to turn around. Um, I'm also using a smaller memory card, so... The memory card could die on me. Hopefully it doesn't. And hopefully just the battery and the camera and everything else doesn't freeze on me because I've had a lot of problems with it recently. But maybe I found a memory card that doesn't just corrupt or whatever. Or doesn't play nice with the GoPro camera. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, so like I said, I've been having a, having a problem with my leg. My right leg has been aching on me. I think just too much stomping on some uh, concrete, you know? Like I'll run on, you know, here's the concrete path. And uh, that can be kind of hard on yourself. I mean, I've read different things about that when you're running. About, you know, it could be the shoe, could very likely be your running form, your technique. Like when you're biking, you have a technique, you need to not blow out your knees. You need to have a proper seat height. You know, all that goodness on a bike. But, uh, yeah, I think my running shoes are just totally worn. See, the problem is, the annoying thing is, if you're a runner like me, and you run hundreds of miles within a matter of months, it's like you need to buy at least the... At least the shoe industry will tell you you need to buy a new pair of shoes every, you know, I don't know, 400 miles or whatever. And it can depend on like what you're running on, uh, how heavy you weigh, and other things about how quickly you'll tear up your shoes. Of course, if you use your shoes like I do, riding a bike and you tear them up on your <laughs> platform pedals, well, that's gonna cause other problems. Usually what I do is I recycle my shoes that way. I'll, uh, I'll run with them and then I'll switch them and use them on a bike. So they tend to have pretty, uh, Sticky souls. That guy did not have left turn signal on, did he? Oh, people. It's crossing, uh, cross behind me that back, back there. Woo. Yeah, a little bit chilly. My hands are a little, a little red, a little pink, cold. Lights coming on, it's getting dark already. Let's see how far we can get here before it starts getting a little too dark. Up the hill. Dude, you're going too fast. 28 miles per hour. What? 
Ooh. Yeah, I've had a nice uh, holiday weekend, you know, you do your... There was something back there, I don't know what that was, part of a table or something. First I thought, you know, I was at the end of my, uh, on the edge of my eyesight. First I thought it was a bike frame, but no, it wasn't. That'd be interesting to check out if it was, or if it had been. Whew. All right, watch out for the Amazon truck. He's waiting for me. Oh my. Kind of funny looking little Amazon trucks. They, uh, about half the size as a regular UPS truck, delivery truck. So I, I guess they must have, what, double as many of those trucks or something? I don't know. I mean, UPS delivers for everybody, not just Amazon. And now Amazon pretty much delivers for Amazon, but I remember back in the day when Amazon didn't have its own trucks or company that had Amazon logos on the trucks. I don't know enough about that. A local warehouse where I live the Amazon workers are on strike. I don't know why. I guess they want bathroom bit breaks or something. <laughs> oh man. Pretty stinky being an Amazon employee. It seems like in one of their warehouses. You don't get bathroom breaks and uh yeah, I don't know. I'm not trying to spread false information. That's just something I read online. Somebody gets to go at least. What I want to do is get over there. I gotta cross the street first. There's like a there's a button here I'm pressing, but it doesn't do anything. Not, not seemingly at least. I'll wait for this. Hit the button here. Well, that time the button went beep on me. Another cyclist across the way. This is what's going to take me the most amount of time, just getting across this intersection. Dude, I could go now. It's like what I was saying before about jaywalking, right? Hey, there's a jaywalker over there. Any minute. Oh. All right, after these guys, I guess. And this is why people jaywalk, because they're either several hundred feet away from an intersection or a crosswalk, or something's broken at the intersection or whatever. All right, here we go.
made it. Woo. Bump, bump it. So there is no, no lighting along this trail. So it's gonna be really dark if it gets, you know, dark before I get back here. We'll see how far I can get. Uh, once I hit another intersection though, I'll probably just turn around. Well, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how far I can go. So I'm in South St. Louis, Missouri right now. Heading south, believe it or not. So, there's the River de Pair to the left. You can't really see it right here. Slow down. Okay. We'll see it in a minute though. Uh, well, I guess we will. We'll eventually cross it on a bridge. Pretty cold out here. Pretty cold, but it's all right, it's all right. Keeping ourselves warm by keeping moving here. All right. Um, okay, safe to go. Bump. Up the hill. Up the hill. So we're crossing Watson Road, which turns into Chippewa, east of here, to the left. Whew. Got a little pedestrian bicycle bridge here. And we get to go downhill now. And I tried doing this before without braking. Let's see. Um, 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 slow down. I got a brake there though, because I watch out for automobiles, but yeah, I was able to do that. Now the path forks off back there. I'm not sure where that goes. We're gonna keep going this way though. Yeah, I apologize for the last video. I forgot to turn on image stabilization. I purposely don't really use that when I mount the camera to my bike. But when it's on my person, when it's on me, it gets uh, really bumpy and yeah, it's kind of, kind of makes you a little sick to watch it. So I apologize for that in the previous video. I didn't realize I didn't fix that. But it's fixed now. Let's go this way. So this is kind of a sidewalk. Um, I know it loops back though, because I've been down here several times before in the past. Um, there we go. Oh man, I'm not dressed for this weather. Oh boy, it's getting colder. I think it has to do with how fast I'm riding my bike too. All the wind chill, that makes a big difference. Crossing another bridge. Another fork in the road, I'm not sure where that goes. It looks like it's, I don't know what that was. Slow down. Don't want to be slipping on anything. Ah, oh. oh, my nose, I forgot to bring tissues. I can kind of see it a little better to the left there, the 
River de Pair. It's pretty low, pretty shallow right now. Well, that was a dead tree. We just passed a real dead tree there on the left back there. <laughs> I mean, and these trees could be dormant, right? It's kind of getting cold and wintry out, but that one tree looked real dead. Let's go. Woo I think this is a floodplain where I'm riding right now. So this is flooded in the past. But then there's like a big hill going up that way. And then it just drops off to the left here. So, yeah. I don't, I think it's been a few months since this area flooded though. That's definitely a flood area over there to the right. So yeah, as of this recording, I think I got, I think there's about 67 of you who have subscribed to my gaming channel. I thank you for that. A lot more competition in that market. I think I'm gonna probably go, uh, probably go live and do some, uh, live gaming and uh, interacting with people once I get above a hundred uh, subs on that channel so check it out help me out Woo. I kind of just you know I just like this channel I do it pretty much for fun and uh, you know the YouTube algorithm is so complicated it's no way of knowing how to grow a channel how to get a chill really moving it's gotten harder and harder over the years because there's just more and more people more and more channels there's so much content but at the same time a lot less people uh you know take in traditional content anymore so many people watch stuff on the internet now or what i found i do sometimes is i'll listen to videos but kind of in the background when I'm trying to fall asleep and stuff. <laughs> I think some people do the same thing with my uh, bike channel here. It's like to hear the bike noises and me ramble on. Ramble on. Oh, bump. Yeah, so there's a intersection coming up a road with a stoplight. I think I'm gonna keep going though. I think I'm gonna keep going. But of course, the keep, far, further I keep going, the more I'm gonna have to go coming back. And I don't want the video to be just completely black and dark because I don't have a proper front light here. So I'm gonna do the responsible thing, I think, and turn around eventually soon. Whew. Because I do have my, I do have my phone with me, but I obviously don't have it out when I'm riding, so I don't know what time it is. But it's definitely getting darker, and uh, it's a little difficult to tell because the sun is behind all the clouds uh, too. Ugh. If we time this right, we might be able to just get through this light. It's partially just good luck though. So the left turn signal's on, which means the straightaway signal will be on in just a second. And there it is. So I just gotta watch out for the turners so. though. There we go. So at least we didn't have to wait for that light.
Tja, 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 tja. There's nobody out here. I'm all alone. Where is everybody? Probably inside, keep them warm. Playing video games, right? <laughs> Whew. Okay, okay. Oh. oh man. Yeah, it's certainly a uh, lower impact riding a bike, but you know, pushing through the pedal still does put some strain on your shins. It's all good though. It's all gear. It's all gear. Oh, good. Alright. Roll around here. Oh. That Foltz Field. I'm gonna cross another bridge here. And soon we'll cross the River Day Pair, I think. There's a bridge up here that crosses over. I remember it's been a little while sorry about that loud noise it's gonna be another one here in a second and oh, I wasn't so bad Woo. yeah so we got to cross to the other side of the road and then we can cross to the other side of the river dip here So here's the River Day Pair. Squeak. Let me show you real quick here. Oh, there you go. So it's kind of low right now, as you can see. But uh, it is, uh, it, ha it has been kind of a, a little bit of a drought lately. We need more rain. We got a little rain the last couple days I think but yeah it's been really dry we'll probably see some good snow this winter because we always do at least by February we'll see all right here's that bridge we'll cross up over here Yeah. There are actually lights on this bridge. They're not turned on right now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's pretty low. You can see there's water in it, but uh, it's kind of, you know, you can see the base. You can see the gravel and stuff. A little more water over there, but then off in the distance, you can kind of see it's pretty dang dry. So, yeah. Cross here. I could keep going, I think, that way to the south. I'm gonna go this way though to the east because I'm gonna head back uh, the way I came, I think. Wait for a big opening here. Actually, I don't think this, this light changes unless I hit the button. We're gonna go uh, straight away this way and find a way out of here, see if we can get back somehow through the city. Let's 
there's a little creek to the left of here a little waterway i'm not sure what that is though if that's actually river day pear it might be because i know it kind of goes underground for a little bit below the city in different sections where it basically gets restricted and the velocity picks up a lot and that can cause you know really fast flooding right now it's open channel though so it's not in a tunnel but uh yeah so there's a there's a big cemetery to the left and as we keep going up here i think i can go up to a smaller cemetery which then should dump us out onto one of the major roads and then i'm sure i can kind of find my way back from there so we'll probably do that that way we don't do an out and back you know you won't see the exact same stuff that we saw on the way here keep it a little more interesting maybe maybe if i can figure all this out before it gets too dark a race against the clock a race against the sun Woo. whole bunch of pine needles up ahead. I think those are, uh, I don't know, maybe those weren't pine needles, those was something else. Kind of gravel, whoa. I don't know if that was there last time we've been here. I don't really remember that. What is this? Did this go anywhere? No. Yeah. What? There's like a road straight ahead. I'm not sure what that's about. Or, uh, oh boy. I smell uh, oil or something back here. It stinks. Combined sewer overflow. Oh, nice. That's what that was. <laughs> it was like a pump station or something nasty. Uh, we gotta go a little further. I didn't realize this. I go a little bit further. cemetery I'm thinking about is up over here. I don't know. It's been a little while since I've come this way. Just a little bit. So I thought there was a path that led up to the left here somewhere. Eventually. Eventually. There's a bunch of little paths that lead off that way to the right, into the neighborhood. And there's people on the path, so we'll keep going straight. Woo. And when we circle back, they might be gone. Because I don't... Yeah, I couldn't... Couldn't tell. I can't remember how big that path is. Let's see where this goes up. Uh, might be able to circle back up here anyway. Well, that's that's kind of weird. Look at that. It looks like a totem pole or something. It's like a tree that they lopped off all the limbs. Strange. really know where I am anymore. Now I'm a little lost. Oh. On my nose. Okay, this is Holly Hills. If I went to the right, I think I might reach Frondelet Park. And this kind of looks like it's got a bike lane, so let's go on this road. See where this takes us. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on my lights now. I'm trying to reach my light. Where's my light? 
Alright. My front light on. Yeah, actually, my rear light is underneath my brake stays on my frame. I don't know why I put it so low. It's alright. Woo! I think I want to turn around actually. I just want to turn around. So I'm just getting further further away. Gotta find a, split, a place where I can do that though. Where does this go? Maybe I can turn around up here. Kind of like a park to my right. I don't know if it's actually a park though. It's just a green space. And there's a guy who stopped in the street up here. Hey, another cyclist. Hey, he's going going the way I'm going. I see him up there getting on the trail. Same family. Okay. Now we're going back. Yeah, that cyclist went up the hill. That's where I'm going to go. Make a right here. You got a nice bright yellow jacket on. Good idea when it's kind of dark like this. Especially in the winter time. So we're going up a little bit of a hill now. Yeah, it's sort of strange. Let me stop for a second. Uh, I can see there's a cyclist going that way, but yeah, there's only a few graves in this graveyard. Can't remember the deal with that. It's like a private graveyard or what the deal is. Well, I guess a lot of graveyards are private in this country, but uh, I don't know. I guess not just anybody can get buried in here. I think there might be some uh, informational plaques up there. I can read it. I think I've done this before though. A long time ago, years ago, I came through here. I think it's the St. Marcus Cemetery or something. I can't remember. Let's see. Ugh. This is a Greenway Trail informational thing. Spinning around. Oh, big stick. You don't need to hit that. Yeah, St. Marcus Park. So yeah, it's like a little cemetery. There's a cyclist. Hello. 
and let's go this way. I don't know what his deal was. He just turned around. He didn't. He didn't outlet down here. I guess he didn't want to get on the road. All right. I think I need to make a left. Let's do that now. Make a left. Whew. Eventually this will probably lead back to the river de Pere. So let me make a right actually. Let's go this way. See where this goes. Oh, my nose. to go this way so let's go this way oh no it's a lot of one-way streets in the city a lot of neat little brick bungalows I don't know for a fact I just think it's true and that is st. Louis Missouri might be one of the last major cities uh, before you head further west that has a lot of brick homes St. Louis was a big brick city back in the day so there's a lot of brick infrastructure a lot of brick buildings a lot of brick houses but as you head further west it's like all wood construction oh. so we got a lot of clay in our soil it's good for making brick I think we're heading west, which is where I want to go. It just keeps going like way forward from here. Let's see what the intersection is here. Uh, whoops, slow down. I wear a January and Gresham. Gresham? I don't know. Looks like there's a big road straight ahead though. It might be uh it might be Chippewa, I don't know. Or, or Hampton Avenue, I don't know, we'll find out. One of those major roads. I feel like it's Hampton, but I could be wrong. Crossing Blow. What? The name of that street was Blow Avenue. I think. Funny. I might have read it wrong. No street sign. Oh wait, there's one. I missed it. The street sign. Oh. Go up this way. Or maybe this is uh. Jameson, I don't know. We'll find out in a second here. Okay, yeah, so this is Hampton Avenue. That's what I thought it was. I thought it was Hampton. Kind of riding in the parked car lane. Let's get over. That's the second Amazon truck we've seen, isn't it? Isn't that right? Yeah. I think so. Speed hump. A little speed hump here. Oh wow, that was a very shallow speed hump. <laughs> I think it's a little uh, school to the right. Look at the guy. Way, 
way into the wrong lane of traffic there. Let's go left, I guess. On Clifton. And let's keep going this way, I guess. Straight. Now I'm like, I got myself lost in a subdivision or something. I saw Hampton Avenue though, so I am going west. I just, I feel like, I think I'm going southwest right now. Alright, so this is Jameson. I think a right. Uh, I guess we go this way. Uh. Make a left here, actually. Those guys should stop. Can't always count on that though. Let's go this way. Oh, I didn't, I didn't check the signage. This might be a dead end. Hopefully not. This is a very wide residential street. Ugh. Boy, watch out. Somebody's got a lot of Christmas lights up ahead. <laughs> Look at all those lights. Dang. They got a spread, that's for sure. I think I found the nice part of the city or something. There's a lot of, a lot of big houses back here. Looks like I'm gonna loop back out of this neighborhood, maybe. That, look at that huge snowman. Dang. <laughs> it's bigger than that house. Oh. I think they keep those things inflated, you gotta constantly have a motor running to keep them pumped up with air. I think. <laughs> Make a left here. We're 
on Jameson again. Apparently I just kind of looped back onto this street again. That's okay. I hope I'm going in the right direction, huh? I think I am. I'm heading kind of north right now. I think. Up to Chippewa, probably. Go down the alleyway. How about we do that? Go down the alleyway. See if we can go around. Actually, there's a bunch of Christmas trees up here. That's perfect for this video. Yeah. I think they. Uh... I think they're just to the left here. Christmas trees. They're all laying on their side. Whew. I can get out of here going this way. Whew. There we go. That works. Can't see anything right there. This way. It says no outlet. Let's see if we can go this way. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. Looks like we can. How about that? Yeah. That worked out pretty whoa my gosh i don't know if you saw that car i just passed on the right his whole back end was blown up <laughs> he had a major major rear ender accident there oh. if i keep going straight i can get back to where i want to be in the river day pear trail here down I think back on the multi-use trail got my light on so I got a little bit of light 
but it's getting dark. And getting colder. It's like the second the sun goes down, it gets really cold. Especially when you get deeper in the winter time. Starting to see more Christmas lights on. It's getting darker. Woo. Yeah, and what goes up must come down. What goes down must go up. Oh, I think I hear a train. Oh, that's awesome. Great way to end the video. I heard a train at least, let's see. Oh, I think, no. Where's the train? Where's the train? It might have already passed. Oh, here it comes. Slow down, here comes the train. Is it just the engine and the caboose? I don't know if you can see it, the red or the orange train up there on the bridge. There we go. Yeah, let's stop real quick. Hey, you can see him up there? The orange train. That's the train. That's the train. Whoa, that looks dangerous here. <laughs> I just noticed there's like a big cliff here. Holy moly. Falling down there would hurt. I'm surprised there's no uh, guardrail or barrier there. Especially since it's along a uh, multi-use path. Okay, well, let's keep going. Trains just kind of stopped on the rails back there, and it's not pulling anything either. It's a little odd. Bump. Oh. Let's go up here. This away. Someone dropped a shirt or something back there, a red shirt. Up. Up. Woo. Okay. If memory serves me correctly, I want to make a right here. This will uh, take me to Maplewood, Missouri. And then on to Richmond Heights and back home here. Whew. Commonwealth. Going straight. Slight incline away from the river. Climbing out of the valley, so to speak. More Christmas slides. Uh, actually, I want to go left here. Okay, I 
go up Sutton Boulevard. There we go. Now it's pretty much a straight shot home, just going north. I've been down this street many a time. Got a little bit of Christmas lights on the light post. Just a second. Couldn't tell if that one SUV that passed me going the other way was flashing its high beams at me or not. I try to point my light down slightly so it doesn't shine in other people's eyes. I'm so nice. I'm so nice. You shouldn't sacrifice your own safety though. So do what you have to to get people's attention. Whew. I'm personally not a fan of the strobe. Uh, front face some light, but to each his own. To each his own. Ooh. Yeah, it's getting pretty dark. I don't know how well the video is capturing anything anymore. Hopefully, you can kind of see what's going on. We're just leaving Maplewood and Richmond Heights, so we're almost back. Almost done with drag. Oh. There used to not be a stop sign up here, I think. And they added one. I think. I can't remember that. Sure. Let's go to the right, actually. Or maybe it was the next intersection. There's no stop sign. One of those intersections didn't used to have a stop sign, I think. But now it does, I guess. Whew. This 
way. Oh my, bumpy. So now I think we're officially in Richmond Heights, Missouri. I just gotta cross the freeway and then I'll be home. <laughs> on a bridge, on a bridge. Cross over the freeway. Very dangerous to try to cross the freeway. Just because jay jaywalking is going to be legal, supposedly, in California doesn't mean you can jaywalk across the freeway. That's all different. <laughs> I think technically that new rule or act or law or whatever doesn't mean the cop can't cite you for jaywalking it just it raises the bar for conviction basically so pretty much you have a right to jaywalk unless you're doing so you know in a dangerous way or something whatever however it's worded i suppose the proof positive of that would be uh you jaywalk and you get hit by a car or uh, you, uh, other cars collide trying to avoid you. That'd be considered uh, jaywalking recklessly or whatever. So be mindful. Just be mindful of this. I suppose uh, if they're smart about it, I suppose the law would have been written similar to traffic filtering. But I don't know. Go left. Oh, slow down. Car coming. All right, let me go. All right, we'll do it. Whee! Whee! Street lights are on, it's getting dark. I'm also wearing sunglasses, so that probably is, makes it feel darker than it really is, obviously. Whew. Up the hill. Went down a big hill, so we gotta go back up a hill. It's real difficult to stop there. Whew. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that white SUV was kind of waiting for me, but the other guy, he just went right to the stop sign. Oh. And now we're crossing over the freeway. Woo. Made it all the way back up from the river valley into the hills we go. Thanks for watching the Bike Blogger Show. Woo.